Coming up here in freezing Melbourne is the March for Equal Rights Rally, where people that believe in, you know, things like equality and fairness and basic human rights will march together in support of same-sex marriage to become legal here in Australia. Can you believe it's 2011 and we still have to march for this shit? Same-sex couples cannot get hitched in this brown land and it really pisses us off. Now, I love Australia. I'm a big fan. Been there, done that, got the t-shirt. But this is an issue. We are very behind compared to other countries. I can marry a dude in Argentina, Belgium, Iceland, the Netherlands, Norway, Portugal, Israel, South Africa, Spain, Sweden, Canada even legalised gay marriage. This is a country that is responsible for Avril Lavigne. Yeah, Avril Lavigne and this person. Hello, 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 hello. States in America are starting to legalise it. This is a country that still has the death penalty and a country that voted in this guy. There's an old saying in Tennessee, I know it's in Texas, probably in Tennessee, that says, fool me once, shame on, shame on you. It fooled me, we can't get fooled again. Twice. And what's this bullshit argument against same-sex marriage? Two gay people saying I do apparently tarnishes the sanctity of marriage. Tiger Woods rooted seven other girls behind his wife's back. Elizabeth Taylor got married and divorced eight times. The leader of the free world got a BJ from his intern. Uh huh. There's television Come shows on, where the brides compete on, for cash prizes. <gasps> Australia has the seventh highest divorce rate in the world, and it's the gays that will ruin the sanctity of marriage? I can tell you this much. How the hell can gays tarnish the sanctity of marriage any more than this couple? This is a real wedding video. A freaky, freaky baby, I was chilling with my lady. Now you know now. Cause I'm having a good time with you. I'm telling you. Nothing highlights the importance of marriage more than a group of old men saying the line, dirty bit. Dirty bit, dirty bit, dirty bit. Oh, and don't even pull the religious card on me, people. If you are religious, full respect to you. But if we disagree, who the hell decided that your beliefs are superior to mine? Huh? There is a book called The Bible. Now, apparently, it forbids gay people from marrying. So I went and had a little read of this book, and the sentence which really stood out for me was, God is love, whoever lives in love lives in God, and God in him. Hmm. Oh, and if God didn't want gay people around, then why did he give us Grinder? Seriously, it's a gift from God. <laughs> what are you scared of, Australia? What is going to change if gay marriage becomes legal? It's okay. Two and a half men will still be on television. Yeah? Bon Jovi will keep releasing albums. Yeah? V8 supercars will still race. Yeah? Andrew Bolt will still write his column. The only thing that will change is that gay people can get married, slowly take over the world, and then eat your children. Whoopi Goldberg once said, If you don't like gay marriage, don't marry a gay person. And she played a nun in a movie once, and nuns don't lie. What can beat that final argument? Hey Australia, grow the fuck up and legalise same-sex marriage. Love that.